Warning! This video may not be suitable for all viewers. This content is aimed towards adults and adults who are not easily triggered over harmless fiction and knows how to separate harmless fiction from reality. We are not responsible for you getting triggered. You have been warned. Ooh woo! Hey, what's up, everyone? It is I, the Video Game Hunter, and welcome to another VGH Let's Play. And today, um, I am going to be showing you guys a game that I found on itch.io, but you can also buy this game on Steam. And the game I'm going to be showing you guys is called Chastity Catastrophe, where it's a 2.5 platform game where you play as an anthropomorphic character and your job is to free your friends from their chastity belt. No joke. And some of the friends that you free from the belt will actually give you some pleasure as a thank you. So that being said, let's go and give this game a look. Alright, so we are at the main menu. And the main menu looks pretty decent. I actually think it looks kind of pretty. So all right, let's go to options, and I don't think I'm going to be missing with any of this. So I am going to be leaving it as is, and we are just going to go straight to the game. All right, but now I hear sound good. Good, good, good. Oh man, I'm getting Vietnam flashbacks to Oh So Hero. Oh gosh, I hope this is not a homoerotic game. Oh gosh, that's totally not my thing, but we have to wait and see if this game is that type of game. I basically bought it from itch.io because I thought it looked pretty good. It looks like a fun platformer game. What's this button do? Oh, it has a map option. Oh, goody good, that's, that's good to see. I think I played a few Let's Plays in the past where there was no map option. I mean, it wasn't really necessary, it was easy to memorize, but a map in a um, platformer game is always nice. Especially if it's a uh, Metroidvania game. Ooh, now we have music. Doesn't really sound original, but I like the tune. Okay, yeah, I definitely like the music now. Definitely. It gives me the adventure feel. This is the type of song that I can listen to if I was actually on my own adventure. Like, out in the fields. Like, if I'm going to... Hunt down some Pokemon or something. Oh, there's a heart on the map and no kobolds. I wonder if my character is kobold. But anyway, there's a heart on the map. I wonder what that means. Help everyone has been attacked by the chastity bots. Uh-oh, a naked furry lady. Well, if this game is homoerotic and it's only on the women, then I think I'll find that acceptable as long as it's not man on man action because it's definitely not my thing lady down down lady down do not throw rocks at me just for that you need to be punished oh I can pick her up oh now I'm getting Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time vibes when I'm picking up that um what is it, that uh, water princess? <laughs> oh, but I think she's actually liking being picked up. All right, let's give her some fun then. Let's give her some enjoyment. Oh, I threw her. I didn't mean to throw her. Shoot. Okay, uh. Eh. Oh, no. Oh, that actually hurt me. No, stay away from me, buddy. Okay, I'll. 
Oh fuck. Oh, I died. Damn. Oh, so this bell is a checkpoint. Good. Good to know. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually liking the graphics. It, I like the cartoony vibe I'm getting. All right, lady. I like ya. So, I'm doing this for your own good. And you're mine. Ha ah, ha We're gonna make so many wonderful babies. I don't care if we're both females. We're gonna make it happen. I don't care if we had to hire a prostitute or something. We're gonna have so many wonderful babies. <laughs> oh, that's amusing. That's just through a woman. I see. Oh! That lizard has a ring a ding ding. Oh, but I can, I can pick him up. Well, I I don't want him, so fuck off. Ah! No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, can I do it with her? Can I do it with her? Can I do it with her? Cause I like her so much better than that lizard. No? I can make love with a man, but not a woman? Ah! Oh, it's year 22, people! We should learn by now that love is love, man! I can't make love to her right now. I only can throw her. Well, I'm keeping her. There's nothing that no one else can do about it. I feel like this character needs to be able to jump a little bit higher. Just a little bit higher. Or at least give me a double jump. I think all platformer games could use a good double jump. In my humble opinion. Not really necessary, but it's always nice if the game has a double jump. Nah, uh, no, I don't want to make love to him. Uh, if you guys want to make love to a man, that's up to you guys. I ain't gonna judge. Matter of fact, uh, one of my earliest Let's Plays, which was actually happened to be Oh So Hero, someone asked me what is wrong with uh, homosexuality, and I said, if I recall, I replied to that person saying there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's just not my thing. Whoa! I fell pretty far down. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to explore a bit. So, any way I can get back up, if possible? I, I kind of want to explore there for a bit. Nope. There's no way for me to get back up there. Why does it feel like there's some kind of hidden door here? Cause it, there is a red thing on my map. I hit the wrong button. There is a red thing on the map. I, I thought maybe uh, detect saying, hey, you can go through here. But I guess not. Maybe that means something else. Uh, maybe. Okay, I officially am stuck. Oh, wait, was that double jump? Okay, not necessarily double jump, but more like a short glide. But for the glide to work, I cannot be touching my um, left analog stick. I have to let go of it, then do that. Okay, I am officially am stuck right now. What the hell? I am stuck. There we go. <laughs> okay, I'm not officially stuck, but I was stuck for a bit. Alright. And let's see if my theory is correct. There's me hitting this lever right here will activate 
those two, I guess, platforms right there. Yes, I was correct. Okay, so I can officially say that um, these red blocks here, that's actually letting you know, hey, you can actually go through this area here. If you don't see those red, you can't get through. That's good to know. I'm, I'm finally understanding how this map actually works. <laughs> oh, man. Rabbit Ribby. What a fantastic uh, Metroidvania game. Not gonna lie. Um, you can actually download that game on Steam. And it's a, it's a fantastic game. I, I'm not gonna lie. Matter of fact, I like the game so much. Um, I bought the game like three times. Three times. One was at a, uh, was at Anime Central, because, um, I think one of the publishers that published the game was there, and they were selling, like, a special box with a bunch of neat, uh, accessories in there, plus a digital code for the game. Hell, not only that, I even asked a question to the publisher about... Um, them having a deal with limited runs, getting a physical copy, and then and I remember them telling me, "Oh, they're still working it out." So, but but they eventually got they eventually made it happen, which is why I end up buying the game two more times. I end up buying it on the PlayStation Four and on the PlayStation Vita. And not only that, it came with music CDs. So I have three music CDs. One from the publisher and two from limited runs. I have no plans of getting rid of them. I'm keeping it at all. Oh! No! No! I almost fucked! I might have fucked up! Yes, I did! Oh, fuck! Oh, that was scary, because I absolutely did fuck up. Maybe I need to shut my mouth for a bit and stop commentating on the game and pay attention and get good. <laughs> <coughs> Boots! Did I, did I find a new skill? Yeah, I have double jump now! Oh, fuck! Fuck yeah! Nice! Like I said, if a game gives you double jump, I always appreciate it. Oh! I didn't see that potion there! Oh shit, no I did not. That was... That was totally by accident, all by luck. I really did not know there was a potion there. And BAM! Now let's, let's see what's down here. Uh, a, a respond generator. It's, it's called a magic altar, but it's really a respond generator. The reason I'm calling it that because um, um, uh, the first time I seen these things was actually in a game I believe called Gauntlet for the N64. No, what I take that back. It wasn't Gauntlet N64 because there was another. Um, respawn generator in the original Gauntlet game, which was in the arcades, but I actually originally played it on the NES. <laughs> Woo! Whoa, wait, I didn't know I could do that. I did not know I can move the camera around. That's really unusual for a... 2D.5 platformer game. 
I don't think I ever see stuff like this before. Damn, that's that's an interesting feature, and I am not gonna lie. All right, so where to go next? I th think the next thing I need to go. We actually need to go back higher. Oh, duh, there's a lever right there. Holy shit, how did I not see that? Where you come from? Okay, watch out for the electricity. I like the wee wine. Not gonna lie. Yeah, electricity definitely hurts you. Did my character just got a huge boner right there? I am gonna experiment. Watch. Come on, hit me with electricity. No, that was that was the hammer. I thought, I legit thought my lizard character actually grew a dick. Like maybe it was a Fuda character all of a sudden. But that's not the case. And yeah, we got some new character that was spawned after I hit that lever. <laughs> Can't be I, I still cannot believe it took me so long to find that lever. Which is exactly where I actually already been. I feel so stupid right now. I really do. Gosh, buddy, whoever developed this game, fix the music. I would like to listen to music when I'm playing my games. Sure, I can just go straight to my iTunes and play music. But I can't play music if the music's copyrighted. I mean, sure, I do play music in my intros and outros of my videos, but I don't want to play my non-copyright music I own on my music throughout the whole game. I want people to hear your music. I want people to hear your music that you have in your own game. So please, for the love of God, turn your music loop on. Oh, I can make love to her. I would like to. Oh, I can make love to her. I would like to see it. No? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Too bad you guys can't see it, but yeah, she's doing it. But you don't hear any sound effects. Oh, great. It's boring. And we're about to get hit. <laughs> okay, you not only are you missing music being on loop, but you're missing sound effects on your... of your characters making love. Alright, that's 8 out of 19 potions now. I feel like this is the perfect um, place for a boss fight. I don't oh, know, the vibe I'm getting feels like it, it needs one. This place right here should have a boss fight. Not gonna lie. Okay, it says go down. Why? I still have things to do. Why should I go down? Okay, you know what? For shits and giggles, let's, let's go down. Oh, okay. A boss fight, I see. Okay. I can't destroy it, but okay, what's this boss fight? Oh, it's just a gigantic lizard. Okay, it looks like I need to destroy these things first.
I mean... It's cool there's a boss fight, but can you be a bit more original? Why a gigantic lizard? Like, seriously, why? This, this, you could have picked any other boss. It could have been a giant pig or an animal that we haven't faced yet. Anything but something we already seen. Okay, okay. I get some of my health back. I don't know how I got that magic thing. But I got it at some point. And I believe I killed it. And yeah, everyone is happy. Very happy. So happy that they're celebrating with me while fucking my woman. The women can, a woman can fuck my women, but the men can't. So you fellow men, get off of them. Get off them. Those are my women. Those are my women. And there you have it, folks. That was Chastity Catastrophe. And to give you guys my final thoughts, well, I just think is that it's an okay game. It's not fantastic. It's not terrible. But it is definitely playable. And the one real issue I really have with the game is that there is, like, no music loop. Like, when you get to certain parts of the game, it takes a while for a music to be picked up, and then after the music starts playing, the game goes quiet. Like, for a while. And the game kind of gets boring. I mean, sure, I can go and turn on my music, but when I play these video games, I want to hear the game's music. Not the music I currently have on my computer. I want to hear your guys' music. And another thing I would kind of like to see is that... I don't know. I think this game is considered finished. But I would love to see some more... Like, creatures in the games. Like, felines, wolves, or... I don't know. I guess dragons? Dragons are cool. I just kind of feel like the game kind of gets boring when there's only like three different species in the game. Kind of add a bit more if you, again, feel like updating this game. But other than that, if you want to give this game a try, you can pick it up at itch.io or on Steam. And the game is only five bucks and there's only like an hour or so gameplay. So... If you think that's worth your five bucks, then then go right ahead. But that being said, thank you so much everyone for watching. This is the Video Game Hunter. And until next time, goodbye. I like to build the world aside and third.